We are gathered here today to begin the parade for Greek Independence Day, which will begin in front of the Greek Orthodox Church here, commemorating 1821 when the Greek Revolution began. The church which made the Hellenic nation survive under the yoke, under the Ottoman, the Turkish yoke, and uh, it was the Orthodox Church which supported human rights throughout uh, the Turkish occupation. 400 years of Turkish Muslim occupation and slavery. The Greek Revolution it was important because it allowed for the rest of Europe to free itself. Macedonia has been free for 3,000 years. Alexander the Great, in the history books, everybody knows internationally that was a Greek man. That so many uh, Greek people have sacrificed uh, for the United States. World War I and World War II, the uh, Greeks uh, were allies to America. There are only one of four countries that fought on the side of the United States as allies in World War I and II. Uh, Turkey, of course, was on the side of the Germans in World War I and II, and the Greeks have a uh, sense of betrayal, especially as it relates to Turkey and the invasion of Turkey on the island of Cyprus in July of 1974. I'm here representing the United States, and I am accredited as ambassador to the Republic of Cyprus. The Republic of Cyprus is essentially the Greek Cypriot portion of the island, and that Republic of Cyprus is recognized by all of the members of the United Nations, with the exception of Turkey. Turkey has, rec uh, has recognized a government which has been established in the north and is called the Turkish Federated State of, Cy of Cyprus. No other ambassador is resident there except the Turkish ambassador. Independence Day is a struggle uh, and a commemoration a year after year to commemorate the, the struggle, the fighting, to remember the freedom uh, for Greece and for the free world, uh, whereby Greece maintained its uh, Christian Orthodox religion and its language and did not submit. If it was not for the Orthodox Church, the Greek nation would not exist right now. It was our ecumenical patriarch in Constantinople, patriarch Gregory V was the one that blessed the Greek Revolution. And uh, from that point on, we have liberty.